Well, hello everyone, here, happy throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Hero Factory review, and this one is on uh, Evo and Toxic Reapa Breakout, which are from Breakout from 2012, oh, or first wave of 2012, of course. So, and as you see, that this time around, the packaging has kind of changed a bit, where instead of, like, canisters and boxes, instead it's... Are, are in these plastic bags of which you have to cut the top open and then has a zip lock kind of feature so I guess they just wanted to save a little bit on that but in good ways of which kind of way to branch off from Bonacle of course and, and of course on the front of the bags you see oh, what was originally on the top of it is of course the zipper kind of thing and also hook thing and you can see picture of the sets that come within and they're in some jungle area of which and you see a little caution tape with the names on them but evos of which not saying 4.0 or whatever but i guess that's when they decided to drop the 2.0 3.0 thing and then also get uh, 200 gank points for the online game that there was and on the side of which see the age group, uh, set number, and amount of pieces, and but also this time around the age range have went from were usually six or seven to sixteen, and now to six to twelve and seven to fourteen, which probably to make them feel like other Lego lines, but whatever. And on the back you see a, a different pose of the characters that there are, actual size of the headpieces and the features of them, and also add for how to use the hero core on the online games, of course, and usual warnings and everything. And on, on to the instruction manuals, which same picture as on the front of the box and everything, or bags rather, than on the back, how to win on the online survey. And then out of Lego Club and out of the uh, DC construction figures, which I will also review for a future throwback Thursdays, of course. And then out of the five hero sets, well, for Breakout's first wave, of course. And then out of Black Phantom, which I'll also do for a throwback Thursday. And then the combination model that the two make, where instead of two heroes, it's a hero and villain set, so which very different from the past, past waves, of course, and also gotta get the instructions online, of course, which I don't think you can do anymore, it's kind of a bummer, but anyways, you have the, the two sets together of there, of course, and the pieces that come with it, and in the front of the manual, you see how to get the code for the online games, of course, so yeah. Sorry about that. Uh, hang on. There we go. Um, also, with this wave, do you get the this Lego Club application insert to which, which they haven't done for quite some time until this time. Of course, nowadays, but not sure why they would include it at this point in time, because because at this moment in time, as well as today, you can just go online and join in and whatnot. Now on to the sets, starting with Evo, of course, or as some at the time called Evo 4.0 or so. So and it's quite a bit different than his. Uh, last version uh, 2.0, of course, but all those some stuff of which kind of the same as for Evo and Breakout, of course. Like as you can see, the feet of which in gunmetal gray, and the lower part in gunmetal gray, of course. And although, but also back of which very barren, with except for the arms, of course. Since of which, having, I guess he's, I guess he, since he's one of the shorter hero sets, I guess they just 
didn't couldn't find a piece to put on the back which lowered his price point or something. But of course this armor which same as from uh, the 2.0 wave of course. There's also armors of which as well. But the chest plate which all new for breakout. Which as you see has some printed decals like in his case is which just a bit of like greebles and stuff and also actual greebles put into it and, and yes you can attach a 2 3.0 chest plate piece on top of it and use this as extra detailing of course and the as for the hero core piece which all the sets come with even the villain sets but just off to the side of course which as you see still opaque rather than transparent and but also a lot smaller than of which and of course has two connection points rather than one to it and uh, also get a code on the back of which and then also unlike the past ones like this one here also get a couple more connection points to it kind of nice for mocking and as for this armor which has a whole lot going on to it and also do get the launcher on it to it which the bottom part of which is which you may think is like a thorn axe launcher half of which but actually has a second but it's actually a different version of it just without the pinhole in it rather but just the axle hole of which but the top part all quite new to it this way of course and you can like fire it off like so and also unlike the thorn axes they do fire a bit more powerfully and also do get also due to this wave it is this like spherical piece which you can kind of use for mocking of course which do have two uh pin connections in it of course but although i think you can kind of use it for not sure what else to use it for but yeah although it kind of a little bit hinders movement there but at least it's workable unlike with those later ones that came in the star wars construction sets which kind of hinder it a little bit more but whatever and as for his uh, mask or helmet which in this way they went it went back to the glatorian head pieces but also but in the case of evo and raka and then later on next have all new helmet pieces while well, the rest of which were reused from the 1.0 wave of course probably to for others to recognize them as that but whereas for evo's case does does quite well does work out well like do you got the pair of vents here which just like what evo 2.0 once had and also have the single connection to it of course but yeah and also with with him and all the hero sets do come with are these uh, cuffs of course which is for the slogan of this line catch him and cuff him which has two a single uh, pin connection and traditional chain pieces there are three of them and of course with him you can like slot in his hands for him to hold obviously and you can also and also can like put on a limb like this one and has cuffed the villains like they do in the Nickelodeon miniseries of course and also just kind of like all the Baraki all had which were the Exoforce hand pieces but that you can use to attack, attach it onto them obviously and as for this version of Evo himself I think like, he could have had some more purple to him, just like Evo 2.0 did. It like maybe a, a purple sphere, like he did did in the uh, mini episodes, of course, or maybe purple armoring on there, or maybe there. But hmm, whatever. But I can forgive how this one came around. But this version still good enough. And I guess that is it for him. And now on to Toxic Reaper. Uh, which from first glance you can kind of see that 
here, which is kind of like a mix of both uh, Meltdown and Corroder from uh, 1.0 of Hero Factory, of course. With like the toxic waste theme, obviously. And the head of which is kind of like a redo version of Corroder's a bit. Which, as for the feet, which are just the uh, Shadow Matoran feet, of course. And also, all new to him in this way are the uh, upper limb pieces. But in lime green, of which nice for mocking, and he also comes with six of the like three long armor pieces, but also in translucent yellow, of which also great for mocking. And also got those spherical pieces, like what Evo once had and some of the other sets have, but in black, also great, of course. And if you wonder how this body is built, is that if I take his head off also this piece all new in line green of course yes he does have that same exact piece that uh waspix in savage planet once had but to work as his main body piece and also do get three small ones as well and also with him is do you get the like newer style hand connector piece but is in trans orange uh, which good use of that to make it work like the rock cheese did and as for the head piece of which quite uh quite creepy and menacing but otherwise cool and of course in the nick episode these things do shoot out it's more toxic waste of course and also what this version of him also has in the nick in the nickelodeon episode of which is where he does have an actual hand piece rather than a second one of these. I guess they just wanted to keep it perfect symmetry, honestly. But also, representing as toxic waste are these uh, like flame pieces in green, which is nice for mocking, or which you can use in some uh, elves or Ninjago mocks, of course. And also, same two piece that uh, Meltdown had in. Also, like Meltdown, is instead of actual toxic waste cancers, is just a pair of system pieces, which are the R2D2 uh, or Astromech droid uh, bodies and heads, of course. Uh, which, good use of those pieces, of course. And although you can call them kind of like Stumpy or something, because, you know, little, since he a hunchback and all. Kind of annoying that the ball joints exposed a bit, but unless if you covered it with another armor piece, of course. And yeah. Although what's also annoying are these upper arm pieces. They also should be in lime green, of course, instead of this dark gray. But I think that's me, just me. I'm. If you kind of agree, that's all right. And so now on to with the final verdict. So overall, these I think are uh, quite cool sets for 2012 standards, of course. Like, do get a few new pieces with both of them, and also also revisit of some toxic waste stuff with Toxic Reaper, of course. And Evil Witch does have some new pieces to him, but of course Toxic Reaper also does as well. And also a few good recolors of pieces. Yes, and yeah. But whereas Toxic Reefa's case, a kind of more interesting build of a build for a villain set compared to just normal hero set for Evo, of course. Although one of which said that it kind of felt like building older Bonacle sets, obviously. And I'm sure you could agree with that, but yeah. And so now if you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, I'd say definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that's about it for this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.